What does self-made mean to you? Well, self-made mean when you make yourself become important to the world because people don't know who you are and people don't know where you're from. And when you come from nowhere and then you make yourself worldwide, self-made mean everything to me because that means you didn't do nothing for me. I did everything for myself. And if I didn't come to you with me, then you would know who I am. So self-made is everything. Is, is, you've been famous. You've been doing this since you were five. So when, yeah. does, when does one realize I'm, I'm, making, I'm making shit happen for myself? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm yeah, self-made. Yeah, but you see, when one realizes, when they realize the talent. So once you get the, once you have a talent and you go out there, then somebody say, okay, I recognize your talent, son. So let's do this. So it's not like them give you a, a way to go. It's you give them a way to go because them see where them can benefit from you. So he, all right. it was Bunny Striker Lee. Yeah. He, he's the man that gave me a way to go. What did he see? I, I think he saw me as a superstar. I think he saw me because I, I, I work with um, John Jalaz. I work with um, Danny Dredd. I work with my own uncle, Sidney Wolf. I work with a lot of people in the business, but they saw me as a kid. Bunny Lee saw me as an artist. He saw me in a, him see me in the future, not here. How old were you at the time? Mm, I was seven. How, but if you think about it this way, who the hell would sign or look to a seven-year-old and see the future? Because no one did that. Yeah, but it's the talent. You see, the problem is, when you find a seven-year-old, the talent. All right, you see, my mom was a producer. She would be the greatest producer in the world. Trust me, if my pops were the producer, he would have been the greatest producer in the world because they know, they saw the talent. They know who I am. They know what I have from I was a kid. But Bunny Lee, he saw, came, and he conquered. Did, when did you realize you had, had the talent? Seriously? I, I started crying that the day I was born. So, yeah, I realized that I have a talent from the day I was born. When did you realize you could you could step on stage and convince people? When I realized that I couldn't speak. Because when I was a kid and I started to speak, my stammer, so you know the song that took to, 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 me one minute to say a statement. So I end up seeing Jack and Jill went up the hill to catch a pail of water. Jack fell down and break it from and Jay fell down and after. And then that was it. So when I was in school, like, three four years old and the, the you know you got the reading time when the teacher called me out to read the whole classroom like this got them know i'm gonna sing they know i'm not gonna read they, they know i can't read because i'm stumbling what did the teacher say that the, the teacher like it <laughs> she, she, she loved that because you see the problem is education don't come by whether you sing or whether you speak it come by if you're learning. So I was learning. I just couldn't speak. Who, who so was the talent show the, the, who saw that you had talent to put you in something? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It was the Orthodox, it was the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Hold on, I, I can't hear, hold on, can you hear me? Yeah, you, you there got you me? Go. Yeah, now I can. So uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. When I um, went to church on Sundays, there's always my uncle, Sidney Wolf, who always say, give him the drum, you know? So I will be knocking the drum and I'll be singing. 
New name Jagat and it terrible amongst man. He then no like Johnny. It's a new name Jagat and it terrible amongst man. He then no like Johnny. Then the choir go. New name he go. Precious name. New name Jarastafari. So that was our first song. As a kid, <laughs> we growing up, and that's where people know that I got talent because I play the drums, I sing, I play the tambourine, I tell them where to go with the M, where the um, we call it the, the, the choir boy is supposed to sing at, and when everything. So I organized the old church. So yeah, that's when you know that I got the talent. At that age, who were you? Who were you listening to? At that age, okay. I was listening to B. Rasta Fiona, you know, Ras Michael, Ras Kabi, um, what's his name? I Jamal Levi, uh, Jimmy Cliff. Uh, whoa, I was listening to Jay's, um, what do you call him again? Um, Black Uru. Them time the Black Uru was three guys. It was, um, what's his name? Ducky Simpson. Um, <laughs> Um, Garth Dennis and um, what the lead singer? What is his name? Um, Carl, um, Dan Carlos. Yeah, yeah. Them time they black with three guys. You remember those group? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, those group I was listening to, listening to at the time. Then you have General Trees. He was my shoemaker, and then you have Shuka Shine, and then you have um, Color Chain. Those was the artists that I used to listen. to. Tell me the story that I heard about you getting paid for the first time and being booed. Oh, I, I didn't get paid when I get booed. So what happened? Okay, I was coming from jail and Mandela came to Jamaica and we followed the crowd. We went to National Stadium and there was a big concert keeping. And then there was Dougie Fresh in the stage. Now, Dougie Fresh is my friend. I said this man life more than three times. So he decided- How, old, how old were you? How old were you? How old was I? I was like 18, 19. Yeah, 19, I think. I was 19. When I get booed, that's when I realized that I am the man. Do you ever do something wrong and then come out right? Do, do you ever do something wrong and just feel right? The night oh, when I go ahead. Night, ooh, 1991, I realized that you see, this is my aim to fame. From after that, I'm right here. I'm interviewing with you. So, well, so but, oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm. I'm right here. I'm so, here. what happened? What was the feeling that you had? What What changed all right then? Okay, all right. You see, in Jamaica, you have enough things, enough feelings where you do. Like sometimes you want to do this, sometimes you want to do that, sometimes you want to say you're cancer, sometimes you want to be a bad man. Zin, all right. So when you come from prison, there's one thing you want to do is be successful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I went to the National Stadium and I get booed that night, I realized that the only place to go is up not down so that was my motivation there's, there's no more motivation could motivate me because you live in the ghetto you're gangster you know you have bad money or your friend them come check you and you you got guns and you got all of them people around you and all of that but when you really live the life as a gangster and you come out to be somebody different from the gangster then you know that you was doing foolishness was it the feeling? Was it the feeling of you know what they don't believe in me and and or the power that I have and that whether they like me or not I can have an effect on them? You know what I mean? It wasn't. It, it wasn't that feeling because you see the feeling is if they don't believe in me then I would be discredited. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So yeah, that that wasn't my feeling. My feeling is this will never happen to me again. What other moments do you have like that in your life where something happened that had a major effect on you? 
Oh, from my kid's barn. Yeah, otherwise from that, there's nothing is. Do you, do you remember when, you know, I've had my moments where it could be, and I still get them. If someone knows my brands, it still feels amazing. Yeah. I told my I told my nanny I'm interviewing you and she got all excited. Yeah. And I, I thought to myself, uh, I wonder if, if Beanie Man still feels that way, where someone gets so excited for Isn't you. It? All right. Listen, let me tell you something. Do you know that every time I go on stage, I get butterfly in my belly? Yeah. And if I don't get it, I don't feel good going on stage. I end up puking. You know that? Yeah. Now I, I do. I'm now I do. Yeah, now you know. So every time somebody say, on stage, the king of the dance hall, Peter Man, I'm shaking like this. Because if I say Zaga Zao and nobody say nothing, that means I have to go out there to work. Yeah. Like actually work to get the people to sing. So every time I say Zaga Zao and the people go, ah, then I know that we're good. We're just going to have fun. We're going to party. We're going to dance. And we're going to sing. Z. So, please, I do get nervous. Right through every time. So, 40 years in this business, how do you, even so, to someone like me, how do you keep being motivated? How do you keep being creative? How do you keep wanting to do what you're doing? All right, let's, this is what I'm saying. Okay. You bake bread from your kid, and you, you have this bakery, and you was the only man that doing this baking in your community. Then all of a sudden, now you got 10 bakers, <coughs> sorry, around your old community. You got 10 people baking the same bread you're breaking. And when you go, okay, I'm going to change the style of my bread. And you go, guato. And who will I get to go for? And guato we are dealing. Yeah. Next year come with banana bread. Yeah. Next year come with platinum bread. So that's where you keep on creating things that people cannot create because it's all in your head. It's not in their head. Yep. So if I come and say, I want you to dance, so be in the fine again, around the street and the lane and round the bend, world dance is the name and the title, the body done with the fibine and the cripple, and I don't know why black wizard love it so, and a limbo rose is fine and you stand, then somebody come and say, okay, all right, me have a new girl again, and with that, a party, get a cat, a party, I'm ten. That's, that's your melody. And then you say, okay, what I'm going to come in next year? And you go, okay, Magdalena go on, Dan. Me and I got nothing for put on, Dan. So you were creating trend so other bakers can come bake the same bread that you're breaking. So that's does, how you say it. Does it feel good to see other people doing that? Of course, because if you make something and nobody use it, it wasn't good in the first place. It wasn't place. good enough, yeah. No. There you go. Mm. People's going to... Cheers, cheers. Right. So you gotta know this thing. <laughs> so cheers, gotta, cheers. Yeah. And I didn't get none of the brown rum, man. I'll get it to you. That's it's too easy. You know, it's the out. num you know it's the number one premium rum in Jamaica. Yeah, I didn't get none of that. I don't want to hear, dog. I, get none, dog. You'll get it, I promise. I my <laughs> word is my honor. Uh, what would you be doing if you weren't in music? Okay. I'd be dead. You think so? Yep. I told you the first time Why? I sing. I told you the first time I sing is when I cried. Yep. I started out crying. That's the day I was born. That's my first note. So I would be dead. What else are you passionate about? I'm passionate about life in every ways. I do football, sport, all these things. I love these things. But it's to keep me fit as a musician and as an artist. Did Everything you say...
about is to keep me fit as an artist. Food, eat right, live right, love right, you know, yeah. Do you set goals? Well, of course. And if you want to get a Grammy, you got to look forward towards it. I'm saying, this is my, my aim. So with the, with the, let's, let's use as an example the new album coming. Yeah. Is, what's the, is there such thing as a goal for the album? It's platinum for the album. There's no goal for the album. It's platinum or diamond for the album. Is there a story you're trying to tell with the album? Oh, well, oh, seriously? Well, the story is I'm the king of the dance hall and I'm just here to teach you dance hall and what dance hall is all about because the album is all about music and um, the, the genre of music and the type of artists that we're using on the, uh, on the album to promote the music, to tell people where the music is coming from and where the music is going to be at. So the, the music, is, the, the album is a journey. It's not like just an album. It's just a journey. All you have to do is get it, listen to it, and you get the journey. There's, I cannot explain the journey to people who don't know music. I cannot. You got to listen to it to know where I'm coming from and to know where I'm going. Can you tell, tell, tell everybody, who, who are some of the people on the album with you? Wow. This album is beautiful. We got Shaggy on the album. We have Sean Paul, you know. The two biggest Jamaican artists had the rights from I and I, I think. But then we got Bonja Garden, which is the biggest artist from Trinidad, too. And then we got Gigs on the album, which is the biggest, one of the biggest rappers from in England, I think. And then we have Pato. He's the, the Pato Banton. They're, they're on the same track, Ian Gigs. And um, yeah, we have Wood Celebrity. We have a few other people on the album, but the album is beautiful. There's good collaboration, great singers, everything. Would you change anything in your his in your past? Uh oh, would I change anything in my past? Yeah. Okay. Would you do anything differently? Right. Your past is what makes your future. Yep. If you would change anything in your past, then you'd have to have a time machine, dog. And I don't got one of those. So, you know. I can't change nothing in my past. My past is my past. If your kids say you wanna, they want to do music, what are you going to say? What? I build a studio. Yeah, my kids say they want to do music. I build a studio for them so they can do music. What, are, what would be, let's say, two words of advice you would tell them that you learned the hard way in music? All right, you see... Me, our right. music now is not music what it was then. Yeah. All right. See, music now, all right. When you go to the studio one time, you have to stand up at the gate and wait till the gate man let you in. You know that? Yeah. Okay. Boom. So if the gate man don't let you in, that means you don't get a chance for audition. You know what audition means? You yep. got to sing for the producer, for the producer to put you in the studio. And then if the producer like you and then actually put you in the studio, then you can actually record a song. That's what studio was. Studio now is a little kid of a laptop and an inbox and a microphone. And he's an engineer and he sing his own song. And he have his own computer and he have his own, you know, thing goes, internet thing and thing and boom. And then boof, tomorrow yep. is the biggest artist in the world. Yeah. So. This is how shooter goes now. So, what are you saying? There we go. <laughs> That's studio. Yeah. So, if the youths need to learn about the music, they need to study about the music, and do not fuse the music. They are fusing the music with other music, and they're messing up the music. I'm the king of the dance hall. I have to say this, but I do not wrong the kids to do what they're doing because we do the same thing. I make jazz. Man, fear, enough, yeah. girl, yeah. girl, enough. 
God, family, my amen. Gospel, move to the left in the name of Jesus. Move to the right. So I'm not going to be no hypocrite. And I'm not going to be hypocritical. You get what I say? But if you're not chatting the lyrics, you're not chatting the lyrics. But if you make music, you're making music. They're making music. And, you know, they're making Jamaica. Yeah, I don't think they're making Jamaica proud, but they're making Jamaica. So can you can you give me a, a give me a couple of names of young up and coming Jamaican artists that you're that you, that you like? Okay, hey, Popcorn is my friend. I love Coffee. I love Leela, and you know a few artists. Um, very Bush Lada. I I don't know his real name. What what is his real name? Again? Um, oh sh yeah, Bush Lada. Um, what is his name again? Um, Wangs, Wangsta, one, uh, yeah, Youngsta, yeah, Youngsta, and um, when 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 my boy name life when then when you, you are too clean, you would, yeah, you, yeah, you man, say the, these songs are real songs, nation, nation boss, nation. yeah, nation boss. But you see, the problem is, is these artists need to make themselves because if you sing one song and the song fail out and you don't do a next one, then Fuck my lord. You're see, done. Yeah, they, this is what I'm saying. So, see, all the youths, them, them need for forward. My, my respect all of the young artists, them, but if you don't do five years, dog, I cannot put you in my book. That's why Popcorn is my top artist in Jamaica right now. In my I do any hand. Do you think, do you think five years is, is, is today five years as well? Do I, do I, five years today is not five years like last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. five months in a row now is five years for an artist. <laughs> yeah, that's why this is the reason why we love popcorn because he believe in five years. I mean, believe in ten years, and he believe in twenty years. He believe in that. This is the reason why we love these artists. This is, is the reason. reason is there anybody that you haven't worked with yet that you'd want to? Yeah, every artist. Not one Trust specific, me. not two specific? No, every artist. Trust me, I cannot be specific with artists. I'm the king of the dancer. And I got to work with all my, princes, all my princesses. Why though? Why, why every artist? What do, you, what do you get from that? Because that way you can teach them where you want them to go. That yeah. way you can in the right mood. Because, okay, somebody wants to say, okay, may I sing about blue? And they go, that was singing about blue. Blue. Let me tell you about blue. Who's going to sing about the blue? Somebody have to come talk to the lyrics about the blue. Yeah. Do what the blue wear, what the blue goo, what the blue sing, what the blue, what your blue crew, what you see in time but can't stand. This is what we do. Everybody rocking, everybody goes through, everybody waving their hand in the air with the blue and the canes and the stand. Look at this, what we do. You got that out get that. This is what we do. Stop. Drop. Yeah, listen to the crew. Bad man, they got bad man up past through. Everywhere we go, we have the place back if and you will be me man up on the ready money. Listen what we do about the blue. Blue. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers uh, to that. We'll, we'll shoot a video and, and put that out, okay? Dang, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do, I do. do. Do you still learn? Yeah, you got to learn. Every day you got to learn. Because you see, the problem is, if you don't learn, then you don't do not have the understanding. You cannot adjust and you cannot adapt. In life, you got to adjust and adapt. So you got to adjust to the new ways and adapt the new ways, and then make the new ways your ways, so people can know that, yeah, this is where we at. When's the album gonna drop? This is what I'm talking about now. We need a date. So right now, the album, yeah, it was nice as how it was, but then we came here and then we started making some different music. So we're still working on the album. We changed the music, like we changed some few things and everything, but we're going to drop this single with Business Ignorant. I'm telling you. Are you are, are you going to go on tour? Yeah, I, 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 what? Tour. Any black man do an album and don't go on tour, he's not a black man. 
that, that's what, that <laughs> to me the the tour will dictate when the album drops. Then how's that? Okay. And when the tour drops, then you dictate that you know it's gonna drop. Though it's gotta drop. That's right. Yeah, I'm trying to drop it for the Grammy nomination, but then you don't drop an album for a Grammy nomination if the, it, for a nomination if the album is not perfect for the nomination. Is would that be the ultimate goal? Is to get the Grammy? No, I already get a Grammy. It's not the ultimate goal. It's just the ultimate goal to be recognized. Do you, it, does it still feel just as good if other people, your peers, are giving you that same recognition? Yeah, of course, always. Trust me. Because, you see, the problem is, without people of your peers and your fans, all right, see, Jamaica, I mean, homegrown place. Jamaica, my core fans. If, if I can't perform a jungle, and I can't perform a rima, and I can't go a Tiva legal keeper show, I feel like a less of an artist than anything. Yeah. If I can't man to go be go around the stadium, I feel less than an artist. If I can't go watch riots, go around the stadium, I feel less than an artist. If I can't go send catching, go around the stadium, I feel less than an artist. If I can't go to the national stadium, to perform, then who am I, dog? So Jamaica is my core audience, is my core place. It's my place that I believe in, and it's a place that I believe that if you can do this to Jamaica, you can do this to anywhere in the world. Anywhere, yeah, yeah. Sure. The influence is, 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 is everywhere. Yeah. Biggie Man, I, it's awesome to talk to you. Uh, 